Look, we got breaking news in the NBA right now involving Lonzo Ball, ZO2, the Chino Hills prodigy. And I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Uh, to me personally, this move that just I'm about to announce pretty much is a no-brainer. You know, uh, everybody knew uh, something like this was going to happen. It was, it's the right move. Lonzo Ball picks up his $21.4 million player option for the 2024-25 season. This is being reported by everyone. Um, Lonzo Ball, I mean, like I said, the injuries, um, it hurt. So this is why you sign contracts at the end of the day. And now it's up to the Bulls to navigate this. But from all accounts, um, from Lonzo Ball, from um, the big baller brand camp, is geared up for Zoe to be on the floor next season, ready to go, uh, providing the Bulls that punch that gave them that number one seed when he was healthy and when everybody was there. I think the Chicago Bulls and Lions overall have a unique situation ahead of them. Um, and mind you, I know that it's a lot of speculation with the Bulls possibly getting blown up. DeMar, uh, Zach, uh, it hasn't been the, the, the most ideal fit. Uh, with Vooch, uh, but at the end of the day, it's not ideal when you lose Lonzo Ball and the intangibles that he brings. If you look at Lonzo's game, nobody on the Chicago Bulls does with Lonzo. You can probably go around the league that nobody's doing what Lonzo's doing, but the Bulls in particular, they are missing a player like Lonzo, a guy who can defer, take a step back, um, and let the other players get a step in um, and also help facilitate that Um it's messed up, y'all, uh, but after missing the past two-plus seasons um, with that knee injury, um, I repeat, Lonzo Ball has exercised his $21.4 million player option. Um, Ball has undergone three surgeries on his left knee. The most recent is a cartilage transplant in 2023. Um, you know, so... Like I said, that, that that situation alone, he's looking to make history upon his return. Lonzo was 26 years old. Um, like I said, he signed the original. Was it 80? It was 85 million, if I'm not mistaken, in four years. Um, and like I said, it was a signing trade with the New Orleans Pelicans. We all know he didn't want to be in New Orleans. Uh, he was a free agent. It seemed like I was actually shocked when he did go with the Bulls. To be honest, which I thought they was going to trade him possibly. Uh, I wanted them to trade him to the Knicks at the deadline, uh, but they held on to him. Um, and like I said, he is now uh, a member of the Chicago Bulls. And to be honest with you, he was a lot more present this year. Um, when you look at lines or past to what he was doing before, uh, you saw Lonzo's presence a lot more with the organization. Um, he was courtside a couple of times. He also spoke to, what was he, um, Stacey King and the broadcast team with uh, NBC Chicago. So he, he definitely was out there, you know, and not hiding what's going on, not hiding what's going on with the rehab process. He got into issues with Stephen A. Smith. Uh, where it caused them to, to go back and forth. You know, um, I think Stephen A., he's just attaching himself to Lonzo. Uh, obviously, he understands the box office attraction that Zoe is. Um, but at the end of the day, he's going to pay homage, too. Uh, he's very he, – he would be surprised if Zoe comes back. Uh, that's what he says. Uh, but Lonzo's on the way back. You see him training. You see him doing everything he has to do. You know, we've documented all of these things, ladies and gentlemen. Um, one thing's for sure, two things for certain. Lonzo is coming back. You know, it just is not at the time frame that people may have liked. You know, heck, people wanted him to come back, shoot, initially at the after the, um, you know, right before the playoffs, he was supposed to come back when they lost to Milwaukee that first year. You know, so um, it, it's an unfortunate situation. You know, Billy Donovan has tried to keep us up to date and up to speed of what's happening with Zoe. But um, the Bulls, they got some decisions to make, you know, and I think it's going to hinge on the start of this season. If Lonzo is all steam, ready to go, I think that you hold on to this roster a little longer. Um, Zach Levine is coming back healthy. DeMar DeRozan, we got to remember, when Lonzo was there, he put everybody in position. You know, so or at this point, you just need Lonzo on the floor. You know, it's not like Lonzo's game is 
jumping out the gym, even though he can do that, you know, but his game is, you know, it's not, it don't have to be the most athletic to be effective, you know, so Lonzo Ball, you know, the way he was going up the floor, uh, the way he was facilitating, finding passes that nobody in the league, you know, maybe outside of one or two guys could possibly make. Lonzo Ball was a top five facilitator in the game, you know, and when you lose that, and remind you, in this league, I know that Lonzo was getting crucified for the three and D thing, you know, uh, but Lonzo was a guy who could step into multiple different roles. You know, he could be the primary ball handler. He could go in the corner and hit threes. And in, in this NBA, you have to be willing to do that, even when it may not be popular. You have to be able to stretch the floor. Lonzo's improved every single year he's came in the league. People don't remember this jump shot ain't wasn't always like this. You know, the Bulls, they got Lonzo pretty much when he was perfected and he was going to enter his prime with the Bulls. You know, uh, Lonzo had a broken jump shot. Well, it was, like I said, that left shot um, that he came in with the Lakers that he pretty much did all through Chino Hills, UCLA. Uh, when he got to New Orleans, they, they slowed that down. You know, so uh, it is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, he's, he's learned how to shoot correctly. Uh, he's one and one heck of a shooter. You know, that's one thing that I must admit. He he needs to get respect for turning himself into a lights out shooter. You know, from a guy who they said couldn't do this, couldn't do that. How, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to understand the progression of Lonzo. I want to repeat, he went from a guy who they said could not shoot a broken jump shot to becoming a lights out three point shooter. You understand? To the point where you can't leave him open, you know, and a lot of teams, they fall into a trap because they kind of use the same game plan against Zoe. Let's let Zoe shoot it. And that's when you have those games where he's going for 20-plus. And he was on one of those runs um, basically after, you know, everything went down. But it's unfortunate, you know, uh, that the Bulls are going through this because I can only imagine the fan base. You know, the Bulls are just a complete utter mess. You know, uh, scratching and clawing, you know, a perennial playing team, you know, just not able to get the job done. Just this team is just not having been maximized to his full potential. And it's due to Lonzo not being there. That's how important he is. You know, and if Lonzo comes back and the Bulls, I'm not saying they're going to be a top or number one seed, but I think he brings Chicago to a top five seed again in the Eastern Conference. And I think you have nothing else nothing really to say about Lonzo's game and he's going to go down to history if not already you know shout out to Lonzo Ball zo 2 the Chino Hills prodigy this was a no-brainer for Lonzo shout out to the Bulls we wish you the best of luck next season Lonzo Ball will be back he will rise like a phoenix out the ash peace and love